In this video, I'm going to show you the live stream recap where I built the Anycubic Viper, the unboxing, build, and first print. Here on Zachary's 3D Prints. Hello, this is Zachary. And like mentioned, today we are going to do the recap from the live stream where I built the Anycubic Viper. It's a very nice 3D printer, as you can see, it's standing there. The printed a lot of parts from the Star Destroyer. I still need to build several things from it. But anyways, so let's get into the video. Here is the Anycubic Viper. So this is the top part of the box. There's the extruder already. Here's some power cord cable. We are back with, with some tools. Some wires, USB, the uh, filament spool holder, USB cable. I don't know why, but there's a USB cable there. We have a quality control card. It's passed. Is this a blank SD card? There's not even a label on it. Zip ties. Ah, a plastic spatula. This brings me back to something I really need to continue with. Resin printer. Four long screws, three short ones. So the display, connection here, overhead camera. What about that? I think it looks nice. So, front side, front side. I almost wanted to say continuity. Some screws have rings, some screws don't. I noticed that all of the things are not connected. Is there a reason behind it, do you think? So, that is all tight. I have three screws. I need to find out what purpose that they have. Removing the foam parts. So that I also need to do is there some, yeah, it's in there. So one of the things is always great to check, but it's a little bit uh, loose. Can give you problem in the uh, future or maybe directly, depends. I'm sorry, but I don't see the purpose of this huge zip tie because I can, could still move the bed. So very loose, so I, we need to do something about it. Both wheels are going. Okay, all set, that part is done. So now I'm going to connect all the wires. So here with the stepper motor, then here with the photo electric. I'm going to connect all the stepper motors. And I'm still wondering why those cables are not connected. So also here. So that is for the screen. So now we are going to take the screen. In case if you are wondering, three screws are for, of course, the screen. First the top one. I think that that is the easiest one to do. So not all the way tight because the other screws needs to be screwed in as well. There is that. Let's connect that part as well. Something like that. Step a motor is going in here on the back side. That is there. That is also connected. So that looks nice, that is also done. Checking the current, it's on 230. It's 
scraper in there. Click on prepare, leveling, auto leveling. So it's a problem with the nozzle, I guess. So it's going to the first point. And it is going back to the original spot, so that is great. Load filament, return to the main menu, main menu, then prepare filament, filament in. The print head temperature is too low and the machine is heating up automatically. It's going to 230? Really? It's just PLA, you know. It's eating the filament. Printing E3 model. So we are going to do something. How's the screen? I think it looks great. Hmm. Do you agree with me? So it's a very bright light. We also get two spare nozzles. I think that that isn't a luxurious thing. I think it's amazing. They also do that. Extra spare nozzles. So if you are interested in buying the Anycubic Viper, please check the links in the descriptions. Some can be the affiliate links supporting this channel without you paying anything extra. If you want to buy them somewhere else, feel free to buy that somewhere else. If you made it this far, thank you. You are amazing. And also shout out to all of my Patreon supporters, The Lightspeed, Fix and Dude, Carl Fenton, Nate Williams and YJ. There's also a mystery patron supporter which name shall not be mentioned but thank you anyways. Please like this video, share this video with other people and on social media and we see each other next time. Peace, bye bye.